So it's a bit of a, a grey, wet and miserable day here in uh, Frankfurt and we're going to review a very bright and cheerful van. Welcome to the Next Gear Show. running it's actually charging the battery here and you can see i've configured the seat so this one faces down towards the back of the van and the other three face forward right so you can have these captain's chair style uh setups as well now the one problem i will notice about this one turning backwards is it presses up against the driver's seat so you end up with a big gap between the two but it's not it wouldn't be the most comfortable you're quite close to the passenger behind you this floating thing in the back here push that push that uh, lifts up like so and tables come up we've seen this in a caravel before okay you get little tables you can put it you can slide this up and down so you can put between the two seats and they can have lunch or a meeting or dinner or play games or whatever it is that's happening in the back of the car uh, they have their own air conditioning up here and a panoramic roof going across the top as well this one is uh, four five six seats yeah uh, you can have this up to seven seats. I think they've taken away this bench thing entirely in the background because uh, it's weight and heavy. The doors are electric on both sides and slide on both sides. The rear tailgate flips up as would normally. And then you're met at the front here with a fairly normal interior Volkswagen cabin. That didn't, that hasn't changed so much. What's the unique bit of this? Well, how many other seven-seaters are on the market, or even six-seaters that are big like this? They're big, proper, sort of minivans, you know? The rails on the bottom are, are active. Now that means they can send electricity through those, which means you can actually make these electrically adjustable seats you want, and they have USB charge ports in them. Now, if you turn this seat the other way around, obviously on this side here, I have my own tray from the back of this seat. It's that Volkswagen tray. It isn't very sturdy, but it's okay. It does its job. Uh, executive transport, I don't know, but certainly family transport wouldn't be very much on the market that would compete with this layout. We're getting uh, three engines so far. One is going to be the one I'm driving right now, which is 1.5 TSI hybrid. Uh, it's a plug-in hybrid, about 40 kilometers on the tank of juice, electricity, and then it becomes a standard sort of petrol hybrid. Uh, that's the TSI engine, their own one. There is another petrol engine coming as well. Not sure we're going to get the bigger petrol engine. Then there's a diesel version of this as well, and that's your lot. There might be an electric one of this eventually. This is not taken over from Caravelle or any of those. They're going to continue. This is on MQB. Different set suspension setup in it, but it's MQB chassis, and it's a small camper van you'd nearly make it into. Uh, it, it reminds me a lot of sort of... Um, like a key car, like a small key car, it's, it's, but it's big <laughs> in a strange sort of way. I, I really like it, but that's just the rear part. So back here is pretty cool. We'll have a quick look at a boot and then we'll go for a little spin as well. In case anyone's wondering, I'm actually in the Natur Park Bergstrab Odenwald. I don't know what any of that means, but let's look at this car. So there is the tailgate of the car open. You can see you get these LED lamps up here at the top, which are up there. Then you're looking into the boot area, which you do actually get like a substantial enough looking boot here, even with all the seats in place. So all the seats are up and in place. Now I'm gonna point out something though. This seat, you can see there's no space between those two seats, nothing. You would not get another human being into this seat. And that seat is set slightly reclined and you'd struggle there to get two sets of knees You'd want to like each other. You'd want to like each other there. You know, there. And that's okay. I can live with that. You get a little sort of a tunnel cover thing, which is kind of cool. Sits over the top of that. The tailgate in this one is electric. So it goes multi-van. Right down the back of it. Very nice E-hybrid. As I said, the doors on the side open wide like this. You just pull the handle and the whole door shuts. This is electric as well. Same when you want to open it, you just pull the handle. You don't need to pull anything, just touch the handle and all it slides open there for you. And now you can see that I've set this up so I can sit in this, but I could not get another human in there behind me. You'd have to really, really carefully figure out 
which way you're going to carry people in this because that seat will have to slide back a bit further and this one will have to slide forward a bit but interior fitment looks really good looks really really nice i think it's a it's a bigger car than it looks uh, i had to explore it very carefully front here we have water we have all our vw stuff little bin in the door but the cabin itself is just you know volkswagen looking cabin we get into that in a minute when i go for a spin in it but again you can see i've really pushed that seat forward it's too close for me to drive there's very little space between me and that seat there very little space exterior look so if i look at this from here it looks like a kind of a pointy ended volkswagen it looks like the golf or the polo or something you know what i mean this this end of it here if i come around to the side of it from here back it looks like a van right but it looks like a sort of a asian van from here back that drop off that immediate flat bottom to it this is the shorter wheelbase one there's a longer wheelbase one of this as well you get more space obviously in the longer wheelbase one gives you more space in the back uh, i love the look i think the look is really good it's going to be very hard to compete with this on looks it is without doubt autumn winter style here you can see about colors of the road here behind me uh, it is um it's beautiful actually around here it's really really nice very quiet little road oh here's my little engine taking over over there very quiet little road though right <laughs> cool isn't it right let's get the multi-van and go like the A-team boys sitting in here into the front seat of it feels like a golf you know it just feels like any other van you might find but you might find the gear shifts being up here in the dashboard is a little bit weird and the sat nav is a bit hard to follow and a little bit glitchy here and there but i do like that i can open the doors from up here from the button if i want to uh, and i can close the doors from up here as well which is really nice for the taxi man among you <laughs> Uh, and you can turn that off so the doors can't be opened electrically as well. There is a little charging tray or a little tray here. I don't think it's a wireless tray for charging. We'll test that. Hold on, we'll find out. No, that's not a wireless charging tray. It's just a tray. Oh, there's a charging tray. It is charging. That's a charging tray. A wireless charging tray there as well. It works fine. All right, let's go for a little spin in the car. So you pull back down for D. Start buttons over there. This is the short wheelbase one, and I will say I think you'd probably be better off buying it. The wheelbase is the same. There's a long version of this and this shorter version of it as well. So I would say that probably you'd be better off buying the longer version of the car as it's more practical. Here's another one coming up the road. That's the longer one. And I would say that's probably more practical than this one. Now you can change modes in here. I am charging the vehicle from the, uh, I can use the engine to charge the vehicle. So I can press this and tell it I want to have more battery or less battery when I reach my destination. So if you're on a highway, if you're driving along a major highway, doing a major long way drive, uh, you're probably better off charging the battery from what you're trying to do. So uh, engine wise, I've got a 1.5 litre TSI under the bonnet of this attached to a 40 kilometer, maybe 40, 50 kilometer uh, range battery that's in there as well, depending on how you do it. If you get to 140 kilometers an hour on the motorway, the electric motors will cut out and the petrol engine cuts in. We just thought that's smart. That's relevant over here in Germany. Probably not quite as relevant in uh, Ireland but you know you never know you never know so I have driving modes in this car as well I can go in here I can go into eco comfort sport individual e mode which drives the car in electric mode all the time uh, and then you know you can you can flip around between these things you can actually make the car charge itself as it drives along I don't mean by resistance I mean it uses spare capacity on the engine to charge the battery which I think is quite sensible but ecologically it's probably not the most sensible thing to do because you're using more fuel and emitting more co2 to charge a battery so you can offset your co2 
Probably better off just being a petrol engine, you know. Plug-in hybrid grant, of course, is being abolished for no good reason at all by the Green Party and by uh, the government parties at the moment. They want to get rid of it from January, <coughs> which, which makes this car, well, expensive. <laughs> Talking about 55 grand for this car. And if you want the long wheelbase one, you can add a bit more money. Not long wheelbase, I shouldn't say that. It's the longer version of the same car. Uh, it's it's a bigger, it's a longer car. And I strongly advise you go for a longer car. I've been playing about with the six seats in this car and you'd, you'd probably struggle now to get all the all the rallies settled in there. You get the, uh, the wife or the husband here in the passenger seat beside you, handy enough, but the kids or the mother-in-law, father-in-law, any of that sort of stuff, mm, you're gonna struggle with the adults in the back unless it's the longer version of the car. I'm going down a hill in a hundred kilometer an hour zone. I'm only doing 90, but I'm descending so quickly my ears are popping. It was like in this road. So what do I like? I like the, the ability to have more seats in the car. That's good. For families, that's a good option. I only have two kids that I can fit in the back of this that come around me the whole time. Now, I wouldn't have a problem with, the, with this, this short version of the, of the vehicle, but as soon as you put two more kids into it, their mates are coming home from school or whatever it is, you're giving them a lift, you're going to struggle for space almost immediately. So get the longer version of the car, uh, spec it up a bit, some good options. There's USB ports back there, uh, it built into the seats, there is you know heads up display here in front of me. Now, some of the glitchy stuff, you know, not too fussed about there's some glitches in the software here i do find that the activating like you want to go into heated seats you press the heated seat thing and it brings up this menu a massive menu now i hope you can see this at home you might notice here in germany when i'm driving along i'm on a quiet zone now maybe you can see it maybe you can see it at the front i'm not sure but maybe you can see it on that there's actually cars parked here in front of me that i'm going to go around but you will notice, even though it's a quiet street, they don't block the footpath. Over here, you'd be killed for blocking the footpath. It's not a good look. Huge fines here apply for blocking up the footpath with a car. And so when you're driving through little villages like this, you regularly will come across a car parked in the middle of the road because pedestrians here are kings. Pedestrians and footpaths here are not to be interfered with. It is verboten to block the footpath with your car here. Do the what, Straza? Oh yeah, okay. I'm with you. Art Burger and Straza. There's burgers maybe here. So there we are again, more cars parked, footpath beside them. They're parked on the road. They're blocking the road, not blocking the footpath. You do well to learn that, Ireland. Uh, it's a very sensible, very German car. It feels very good. I do like the look of it. I think it looks very well. And I think as a minivan, as a thing people would use to drive the kids to school, hospital runs, maybe a hotel run, a fleet of these in a, in a standard color would actually look pretty cool. They're all hybrids. Um, apart from the diesel one that's coming out next year, we're going to get diesel as well. So diesel is not dead, by the way. I know it's Volkswagen we're talking about here, but there's diesel versions of this coming out, obviously, for commercial use, because you can turn the VAT back on diesel. Thanks, Eamon Ryan, for leaving that one alone and not adding in the fact you can turn the VAT back on petrols. But should we won't worry about that. Uh, we can turn the VAT back on electricity, can't we? Mm, yeah, on your electricity bill. Um, but as we take off in this light here, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've hit the subscribe button because these videos are very hard to make, can I say take a long time and have to travel half the bleeding world to do it so thanks for subscribing i hope to see you on the next ones as well uh loads to come over the christmas period we're coming i know i'm talking about christmas now it's only november don't get excited but uh christmas is coming we will have the sunday service will return i think it's going to return this sunday that you might be seeing this after that but this is news for general public um sunday service back this sunday i think uh, the 15th of December, I'm having winter vibes in Mondello Park. You can get tickets for winter vibes on Mondello.ie. Check that one out. Um, so much going on, honest to God. There's so much going on at the moment. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And until the next time from here in Frankfurt, I will see you on the far side. 
I actually better say that properly because you got I mean, people are gonna give out if I don't say the right way around. And until the next time, I'll see you on the far side. <laughs>